Hello friends of geology, it's time for another featured specimen today. Today I have this guy. So we're going to check it out and I'll show you some details about the rock specimen that I have here. And then your task is to try to figure out what you think it is. And when you have a guess, drop it in the comments and we'll see how many different guesses we can get about what we think these things are. And then eventually I'll review what it is. So. Let's just take a look. So, this is our piece. Um, you can hear it. Kind of a tingy sound there. Um, let's just look. Very cool pattern on the surface. Um, if you can't tell, sometimes the lighting comes out a little different. It's sort of a pinkish purplish coloration. And it has all these neat swirling patterns on it. Just so cool. It has not been cut. Um, this, it's not a cut specimen, and this is how it was found in the field. This is a raw specimen. Uh, there's the back. You can see up there kind of some nodules forming. And right there, there was a little divot where you can see, if I get it, some sparkling. Yeah, we can see some crystals in there. So I often will point out a specific spot or, you know, like I'll say, okay, we're looking at that feature or that mineral. Um, so, but today let's just say the whole thing. Let's say what, do you even know what kind of rock this is or what, what is this, you know, or what are we dealing with a rock, some kind of interesting mineral fossils? What is this? Um, see if you can take a guess if you've ever seen anything like this, or if you have a good guess, um, go for it. And while you're thinking about it, I'll just show you how cool this thing is. I mean, like, look at that embossed surface and those swirling patterns. Really cool, really awesome feature we have here today. I mean, they're all pretty cool, but it's hard to pick favorites. But I really like this one. It's pretty cool. I have another one that came from the same area that I'll show you here in a second once I give you some details on this one. Um, it's not identical to this one, but it is similar in the, in the formation. But you can see there that banded pattern that it has going on. Um, and then if I turn it over, you can see two humps there that are like nodules that you can see there. So what do we have going on? And with these specimens, what would we call these? What are they? What's going on? Take a good guess, guys. <clears throat> so this could be a pretty tricky one, actually. There's a lot of things that, that it resembles. Um, you know, this banding pattern is common in, in stuff like banded chert, um, which it's not, can, yeah, there's similarities. Um, but I wouldn't quite call it that. Let's pick the other one up again. All right. So, what we actually are dealing with here is something related to volcanics. This is a rhyolite rock. These specimens are related to uh, volcanic deposits in the southwest. And this is, we would call this rhyolite. Um, some with the interesting banded patterns can be called orbicular rhyolite, or even some are more reddish toned. And um, depending on the consistency, we call it orbicular jasper. But this is essentially the, one of the best things to call this might be orbicular rhyolite. Um, this one doesn't have the banding pattern quite as profoundly as the other one, but still a lot of swirl patterns going on there. Um, really cool. I'll talk a lot more about volcanics and how these different types of volcanic rocks form, especially uh, a little more about these guys, but we'll leave that for future detailed discussions. Um, I'll even, I think I'll take you two on a field trip to, to this locality, so stay tuned for that here at Let's Go Geo, and stay tuned on Fridays for another featured Friday specimen. I just kind of show you guys something fun from my collection or maybe from in the field, and we take a look at it and see if we can figure out what it is and get to know all the cool things that can be discovered out there. So I'll see you guys on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.